I was pretty happy. I didn't I didn't get the I didn't get the whole shot. Kind of bike kind of bogged a couple of meters off the off the start, so dropped back a, a little way and. Uh, Michael here got got by me, so followed Michael. He said, you know, pretty good first lap, and you know the, st the first few laps of the race normally aren't my strong point. If anything, I kind of tend to lose places, so I tried to just stick with Michael and, and run at the, the pace he was setting, and that was okay for a while. And then um, and then uh, Tommy come past, and uh, I tried to he, he then went ahead to the front and started to lead. So I tried to do the same, you know, follow his, his pattern, and um, wasn't able to do it. You know, sort of. Uh, Michael come back by me and, and they both sort of carried off into the distance and um, you know, I felt a little bit sort of helpless with the, with the situation I was in. Couldn't, uh, couldn't really try any harder without a uh, chance of crash, so had to settle for third. Yeah, just to get to get one one result, two podium credits. You know, it's it's a start to my season really. After after basically not even breaking the top six uh, in the first, well, sorry, not breaking the top five. I had a couple of six in the early rounds, so yeah, well happy with it. Um, actually, not overly happy with the race because uh, about five laps in, I had oil oil warning lights come on and low oil pressure on my dash. So I started looking down to to check and see what if in case there was any oil coming out. Once I realised there wasn't, uh, I knuckled down and. Um, I got back past Josh and, and then put a push on to try and get back to Tommy, but it was just a couple of laps short. I almost got there in the last lap at the end of the back straight. I had a collision with uh, Bin Laden. He, Tommy just got past him and I just I rammed him into the into the left. I was I thought he was going to sit up and I had committed and, and I hit him. So yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a frantic last lap, but <laughs> so yeah, quite quite happy to to get a, get a podium out of it. Um, hopefully we can we can fix the oil pressure issue for race two and, and have a clean race setup but um yeah I gotta thank the, the team you know we identified your problem after Alton Park as of tire wear and uh, we went to work on it this week and uh, we possibly had the best tire in, in the, out of the top three on that race so yeah well happy and the hard work's paying off finally so yeah tough for that and move on to race two and see if we can go one better. Yeah I mean um, you know I know we've had six different winners I think you know, it shows that the championship's competitive you know everyone's pushing hard and um you know, with the new rules and no traction control, it is more of a, a level playing field for everyone out there. So, you know, there's no such teams now as really privateer teams. We've all got the same tyres and the same electronics. So it's going to be tough out there. It's going to be tight. Everyone's working hard and, and pushing hard. And, uh, you know, this year without the electronic aids, we, we all know as riders we're pushing hard out there. And you want to push harder because we're racers. But how hard do you actually push? You don't want to use too much grip. But we're pushing hard and we're racing hard. And... Uh, that's the way it is, you know, so I hope we provided a good race out there. I knew it was going to be a bit tough towards the end. I just tried to do my own thing. When I managed to get in front, I managed to just sort of get into a rhythm. But um, it's always tough when you're out there battling because certain bikes work better in different areas. Then I can't quite make the best out of my bike. So, uh, you know, I made a move on Josh just up in uh, up into bridge and he came around the outside. And I started to panic a little bit and then Michael had his issue there at the beginning. And uh, I knew it was going to be a bit of a tough race and I was just worried that the pack behind us were then going to catch up and then... Uh, yeah, it would have been good for everyone watching on TV, but even tough for us because we, we managed to make a bit of a break. But I had a little issue there in the race again, same as Autumn Park. I had a free shower halfway around, a um, load of water blowing up in my face. But the boys said if it happens, uh, just try and ignore it. But it's pretty tough to ignore something like that when it's blowing up in your face. But I wish I had a bit of head and shoulders with me. I could have had a, had a shower halfway around.